hey, I need to understand this. No. I can have a baby, but I want to get married. No. First, it was, I want to have a black baby. What it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD. Today, we're going to check out a video called TikToker Tries to Become a Passport Bros, but ends up only getting many, many STDs. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> Oh boy, now we're just gonna go ahead and start the video because this is the type of video where I just start telling on myself. Let's do this. So a friend of mine sent me a video of this young man right here, 19 years old, who calls himself wanting to be a passport bro and instantly regrets it. Oh man, from what I heard, things get pretty bad. You but we got comments. all the receipts. We're gonna be here a little while. Let's watch. I heard Japan was in desperate need for black men. Oh so me being the smart individual that I am, I went and got myself a ticket. I don't usually do stuff like this, but when the government is asking people to come there, why not? And it's really like the perfect time too, because I was about to go to DR, because you know, if you're in a drought and you got zero hoes, the best place to go is the DR or Columbia. So instead of going to DR, I figured I would just change my flight and see what Japan's talking about. Oh if y'all want to sit back and wait around, then that's cool, but me, I'm the type of guy, I'm going to go get it myself. Just like Young Thug said, I just needed the platform. This should also be a warning for y'all females to do a better job trying to keep your man. Because give him five reasons on why he shouldn't just up and leave and go to Japan. I don't really know what to expect when I get there. I just hope I can be loved and swarm with Japan ladies. I hope I can mate with most of them. I might stay there. I might end up staying there. I just want to see if this is actually true. I'm the risk taker. I'm the big dog. You guys want to sit around and hee hee ha ha, yes. oh my god. No, I'm the one that's going to go get yes. it. I'm going to keep you guys updated. Stay tuned. Yes. Oh, I 19 stay tuned. years old. I'm pretty sure he hasn't Neither even given here. himself a fair opportunity with the women here in America. Don't. Don't. This is but not hey, what you want. I know what he's dealing with. Right for I your know life. what he's up against when it comes to the women or girls in his <laughs> age bracket. So... Dang, starting off this young, wanting to travel and to find love, I can only imagine how this is gonna go. Let's see how he gonna play his hand. Don't want love. Day number it two in Japan. Makes no sense. I woke up kind of late, so I knew I had to catch up. So I immediately hopped on Tinder. I told her I came here yesterday, but I'm staying until next Sunday. The tension started building up, and I said I love taking control. She said she loves to be fully controlled, so I said, "All right, how about whoever finishes first has to pay for our date that we had set up." What? All they ever use in Japan is WhatsApp or Telegram, so I immediately went to that. Around 5 p.m., she came to my room, and I already scored. Now, I knew I was going to finish first, but it doesn't matter. It's about the tension and the talking. Most of the times, the buildup is better than the actual thing. Like, you have to give her a reason to want to come over. So that's why I made it a competition. I'm not going to lie. I was freeballing inside of her. I didn't wear a helmet or anything. Oh. But she was okay with it, so if she wants to keep it, that's up to her. That was my what? main goal anyways. I wanted to come here and start a family. No, no, right, no. So I Wait, what? What did I just hear? Don't this man go said if she wants to keep it, that's falls. okay. That's my Jay main Z. goal. I wanted to come here and start a family. Bro, <laughs> you break, you based the whole premise of your interaction off of intercourse. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. You didn't attempt for a second to try to get to know this girl. Yeah, you did. That's why the intercourse happened. You was making bets and plans and, and, and little competition. That's how the intercourse happened. On who would finish first. Yeah. What? Yeah, they like that type of thing. This ain't no passport, bro. He a passport hoe. Yeah, that's how he was getting laid. Man. He's a hoe. After I finished that, how I hopped back to the train station. And I started walking <laughs> the streets again. Women don't think nice route. guys. I went inside this very popular club. And I met this dude named Evan in like the first 10 minutes. He was also from America and he was telling me that he's been staying here for over a month and a half for free, leeching off other women. After he told me that, it's like my third what? eye really opened. Like I've really seen a vision and why I was here. He then told me that he knows a better spot. I was kind of in more of a ghetto area. So we hopped on the train and we went to that area. He ended up leaving the club a little bit early because he met somebody and he sent me this. Then he couldn't. Salute to him, man. He's a star player, and he's still putting up numbers in overtime. Nice. He said, fuck it. Don't sub me out, coach. I need to get my stats up. I was still at the club, and I made the dumbest mistake ever. I put my buffs on in the club. Mind you, this wasn't Tokyo. This was downtown. So, like, in Cali terms, 
This was not in LA where You're I was a tourist. Don't do that. This is Compton in the gutter. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, they were dancing. You probably can't see them right now. But as soon as I put them on, the whole energy in the entire club shifted. More females started coming up to me. They told me to come to the back. I was using my Google Translator. Hold on real quick. I'm so sorry. I just can't help to tell you guys that I really put the on. It don't matter where I'm going to. I'm going to get fly. But yeah, so the girls were like more on me. And the guys, it was like these four Japan street Yeah, girls. they got mad. They were just mean mugging me. Yeah, the they always get mad. Time. Yeah, all, every time. Now, they eventually left after like 30 minutes. So I thought they weren't tripping. Yeah, dude, they don't get no home. home with my girl. Bro, they was outside waiting for me. Oh, I like that. Bro, oh, you hook me up. Over here, oh, yeah. they gonna get beat up by the Yakuza. They ain't got no guns, right? Hey. They ain't got no guns? Oh, man. No. Yo, tell me they ain't got no this guns out there. This was my experience when I went to Japan. No, sir, because I guess I went to the wrong area. I ain't getting no play out there. I couldn't get a match on Tinder, uh, um, on Bumble. That's because you nothing nice. Out there. Don't be, I went to Osaka. You, you I guess a nice Osaka was that. You got to go to Tokyo. Hey, look at the bright side. At least you're not a hoe. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Were they some Tokyo? Look. We need some Tokyo hoes. You can get they some hoes, bro. All Japan. you gotta do is not. And I think she was telling them to you stop. Can get, you she can was get about people. to cry telling them no. I could not. Uh, yeah, sound like she saved your life, my guy. Nah. That's exactly what that sound like. What? Beat him up. They be I right. could not understand a word that they were saying. But let's just say I sprinted home. I did not take any risk. Nah. I was running in this nah. dark neighborhood. It was super scary. And I wasn't tripping if I didn't leave nobody because I did already score earlier in the day. But yes, the racism and envy is really starting to show. Yeah. Stay tuned for day number three. Yeah. Oh, Lord. It's What's going to happen on day number three? I get, bro, look, I got day white guys mad at me, Japan. Asian dudes, Immediately after other wake black up, guys. I started farming on it hands. don't matter, I was man. a tender, but I couldn't tell I'm if used some to it, bro. were fake or not. I met this girl that was half Japanese, half Latino, and she really spoke three different languages. She's from America, but she stays in Japan by herself. So I said, you got to teach me Spanish so I can talk dirty to you in two different languages. She said, you're a baby. I'm almost 26. So I said, make me grow up and show me what adults do. She stayed in the city that was not too far from my hotel. So I said, all right, what day am I coming over? I'll give you home court advantage. At first she was hesitant, but I got her phone number and I FaceTimed her. And I just slowly broke her down and convinced her. I snuck in a quick picture right before it tip off. Pay attention to the handcuffs on the bed. I'm definitely not a baby. Pay attention. You got handcuffs on the bed. I don't want to see. To the handcuffs on the bed. I'm definitely see. not a baby anymore. After what she did to me, I feel like a whole new man. After that, I had her take me back to my room. I'm paying 1900 for two weeks. It's kind of expensive, but it does come with free breakfast. And I think it's $300,000 in yen. Here is where I met this black girl named Jada walking the streets of Shibuya. She was gorgeous, so I had to approach her. She was a foreign exchange student. She was actually from Chicago. I had to sneak these pictures because I didn't want her to know anything about my journey. But this just shows me that God has a sense of humor because me coming to Japan was like my diss track towards black women. And then he hands me the most perfect black woman I can ask for while I'm in Japan. Wait, yeah, not around he said black women. him coming to Japan was his diss track towards black women? You do know there's other ethnicities in America outside of black women, right? This boy a clown on so many levels. What in the world am Even I a watching? Second, you, a second ago, you just said we that you have to get something to eat. You, you, and let me just tell you, you should I go do out put there that on to get every women. single time. She took me back to change, and she changed at her dorm. Right here, though, we went to this small lake in Shibuya. <laughs> I really hope this doesn't blow up too much because I don't know how she's going to react if she sees this video. This guy is literally watching the video to, to learn how this guy does can't it. I can't help myself. It and was just too tempting. It's funny how that works. I went back home to go shower right quick, and me and Jada went out again to go eat. And let's just say I put that shit on again. It's getting out of hand now. This pretty much sums up day number three. Me and Jada went back home to our spots. We didn't do anything, and I wasn't tripping because my stuff was kind of feeling funny. I don't know if it was an ingrown hair or a razor bump. But I'm going to wait it out in a few days. Awesome. He said his stuff feeling kind of funny. Probably that dang old 25-year-old chick that you dang old well, slept with. Raw, she probably got burnt some, by Don't somebody and raw, decided bro. she was going to be mean, out here burning folks. She was like, let me get on these day naps and see if there's anything other than Asian trying to come out here and be a passport bro. I'm going to give him something to passport, all right? You go ahead and take this with you around the world. So I heard all of you guys saying I can get married to a girl in Japan. I can get paid to live here. 
If me and Jader do not work out, I'm probably just gonna do that. Also, if you're stationed in Japan and you're in the military, we should link up and I should borrow your military outfit because I heard Japan girls go crazy for a black man in the military. Day number four in Japan. Dang, that boy face. <laughs> Look, I know he ain't nothing but 19, but he, he needs some of this. Some of that Tej Henley. To the one I met on Tinder and the one I was free balling inside of. Baby, I'm sure I'm pregnant. I got tested and I'm sure I don't want to abandon my baby because of my religion, but I don't want to be bullied for giving birth to a black baby. Like what? The, I'm not even tripping if you have the kid, but now you bring a race into it. Please call me later. I'm calling her bluff on this. Like in basketball terms, if it's a foul on the play and I'm the coach, I'm challenging the play. Since wait, wait, hold on. I could be wrong, but wasn't the day two girl the day going one that was mixed with Spanish and could speak English fine? I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Look. I had to go through that. I didn't want to stress myself out too much. So I figured I would get out the house and treat myself. Here's what I had for breakfast slash lunch. I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm going to call that girl tomorrow, but today I'm going to have my fun. I hit up my boy Evan from day two and I said, yo, what's the moves? Get me out the house before I crash out. He sent me this video. The legend himself, Evan, had to go home. Unfortunately, it was his last day in Japan. He was leeching off women for two months staying in Japan. He motivated me. He gave me the self-confidence that I needed. Everybody, please show love to Evan in the comments. I had no plans, so I went back to old reliable Mrs. Jada. We pretty much talked and just drove around for hours. The vibes was perfect. Everything was perfect. But I told this girl so many lies. And if she sees this video, I'm pretty much I don't fucked around and told this poor lady that my father passed away and I got his inheritance, so I was taking a little vacation. That's how I ended up here. This man, this, I'm about to call him a man. Clearly, he's still a boy the way he out here acting in the movie. This boy out here on some super F boy junk. That's all this is. Yeah. This this is not passport bro behavior whatsoever. Not yes, what I thought passport The only bro part that's be. not passport bro passport bros. We'll talk about that. Is, in a is not that using actually did that's work. Part I don't I talk to myself and to get some sympathy coochie. But my stuff was bro, feeling never, funny. Never bro. get sympathy coochie. I don't know what it is. I think I, I like, you know if you go so hard and before it gets a little that. bit swollen. I think that's what it is. Uh, I really don't think I have anything. So I didn't want to touch her just in case if I had anything because I actually care about this girl. So I said the best cop out answer ever. I told her, I don't want to make love with you yet because I don't want you to think that I'm just here for that. If you're a man Smart. and you turn down buns, every single day after that, it's going to be there automatically. This was the best thing I could have ever said. And plus my mind wasn't in the right place since that little baby incident happened. But stay tuned for day number five. Oh Lord, how commendable! This boy need to go get tested. This is like the second or third time it, he didn't mention this stuff. That's not cool. right. Day number five in Japan. Y'all remember this from day four? You guys helped me realize that she tried to pin a baby on me. It takes at least six days for the baby to fertilize and for the test to pop up positive, and it's only been two days. So you know I had yeah. to show. She texted me back four hours later and said, "If you didn't cooperate, you would think you should have stayed in America." Like, is that really a threat? Because I'm not putting up with your fake baby. Now, here's the bad news. I've the black girl I met, Mrs. Jada, she found my me. shit. One of y'all little sneaky femboys <laughs> sent her my videos. There's a yeah. lot more stuff you can do for money, bae. I know, I know, just chill on me, bae. LMAO, so are we not compatible? I don't know, it just threw me off, to be honest, but I like looking at you. You can look at me all day, that's not the problem. You just have to gotta look past my other character. No, I can't be sitting out here my man's posting that shit. Bro, I can't get her back now. You guys fucked off everything. <laughs> no, you can't get her back because you never had sex with her. But the, the STDs and all your videos and stuff helped. <laughs> Yo, he's over here blaming his actions on, on other people, on his viewers. Bro, the viewers ain't doing nothing but watching your clown butt. Make a fool of yourself on the internet, man. I hope your parents see this and have a talk with you, because what? I don't see how to do Oh, yeah, anyways, after that, I went to this little car pop-up show, and some Asian girl approached me. I wasn't even in the right mind space, but I still took her out of my wing. You guys don't realize how sneaky I have to be when I make these videos. I'm not finna approach them like, oh, yeah, I'm on my journey trying to make babies and start families in Japan. I checked up on the homie Evan right quick, and he sent me this video. It turns out he didn't even go back to America. He went to another different part of some Asian shit. 
So yeah, he's living life. I'll tag him in the comments. You guys need to tell him to start making content. Here's me in Tokyo with the girl that I met at the car pop up. I'm not showing faces no more because y'all are weirdos. But after we hung out, yeah, I took I her back to my hotel too. and I straight killed her. I stopped that too, bro. I used to post chicks that I was being friends with. I was friends with. I don't do that no more. I don't even link the female in the description down below. Y'all still find her. How? Start flooding her DMs with simp shit. Leave blast. I can treat you better than he does. <laughs> you pieces of shit. Shit. I was lucky doing a little bit too much. But I had so much anger built up, like you have to understand me. She's lucky I wore a helmet because my stuff was kind of feeling funny still. No. But if it wasn't feeling funny, I know she would make a great mother. <sighs> oh my God. Nah, you What? Pooping. You shouldn't be piping. So he's you. saying if he wasn't feeling funny down there, that he wouldn't have strapped up and he would have purposely got her pregnant. I mean, <clears> he's young. Pretty much you know? rise up the night. Stay tuned for day number six. This is not, like I said, this is not passport, bro. This is passport ho. Because this from my understanding, ho. initially, Don't my understanding was to be a passport bro meant that you were seeking a woman who was soft, who was understanding, yeah. who was submissive, who was not American. <laughs> Someone that you can build a fundamental relationship with, right? Right. Dudes that get their passport to go to other countries just to smash, don't call yourself a passport, bro. Yeah. Because that's not what you are. Uh -huh. We done lost some of the yeah. days. I don't know what the heck happened to day five. Yeah. We just look, we just skipping around. Just get to the good stuff. Day yep. seven in Japan. I'm not, a few I'm not days ago, I actually are. did end up taking this at home kit to see if I got burnt, but it was too confusing. Uh -huh. So I just went to the doctor to get tested. And just like I expected, y'all, I got uh -huh. got. I really might have some other stuff too because look at my lips. Mm. Mm -hmm. I refuse to let this stop me though. I understand that I'm gonna start playing in and I'm injured, but I'm still gonna carry the team and put up. Dang, this food tested positive for both Clemichia and Ganarichia. It's right. crazy because this is the same day I got burnt, day number two. Start I was so condoms. happy that I took like, a post game picture. Same girl that tried to pin a baby on me is the same one that burnt me. Yeah. And she's still blowing up my phone. Even after I exposed her dumb ass. Yeah. Hey, I need to understand this. No. I can have a baby, but I want to get married. No. First, it was, I want to have a black baby. And now, I want to get married first. I don't want you to go home. Please call me baby. Bro, leave me alone. I'm not going to be with you. Yeah, first, you burned me. And then, you lied about having a baby. Anyways, back to the streets, I go. I stopped at this little store to get some numbers because I'm not free balling no Back in my... But you know how to stop and get a little thirst trap for the gram. This time I waited never, for a link to come up to ball, me. Bro. What you Five doing? minute Google Translate conversation. Boom, back to my room just like that. You guys can't even be mad at me at this point. There was a little obstacle during my marathon. and I What was that? That's supposed to be a clip of him showing off the fact that there's a girl in the room with him that just could have been the tv in the background we ain't even see nobody this boy here i tripped and fell i ain't gonna lie but i have to get back up and finish the race i still got numbers to put up i'm no. not gonna be here forever so i'm still gonna have my fun and like no. i said i'm a star player that's injured and my team still needs me no. i'm lebron james at 40 years old my team still needs me i cannot stop now stay tuned for day number eight LeBron James at 40 years old. Boy, you ain't even half LeBron James age. Day eight in Japan. I woke up a little depressed because the news I found out yesterday. And it just now hit me in the morning after. I know some of y'all are probably thinking May, May 21st. This this look old. This picture of him looks older before he got his hair twisted. Maybe he's showing a, a past positive result before he even went out there to Japan. No, y'all, I went digging. This junk is from months ago. All this stuff that we're watching is from... Probably is from back in May. This wasn't recent stuff that happened. I slept on it a little bit. I didn't even want to get out the house today, but I'm still going to go hard for y'all. So starting off with some good eats that I had for lunch. I said, so I hopped in a taxi and went to the streets of Shibuya, where all the trouble happens. Right when I got there, there was some weird parade going on. No, I had to stop and get my thirst trap. That's just mandatory. But I was really a dead man walking the whole entire time. A lot of y'all were saying to pack it up and go home. 
A lot of y'all were saying I'm the biggest L ever. Like, I was really sad, bro. I didn't talk to nobody. The girls that were approaching me, I was turning them down. I kept walking. I was not in my right element. 30 minutes before I was about to leave, this girl approached me, and she asked if I wanted to go to her pool party <coughs> slash photo shoot. At first, I wasn't convinced, and I thought it was some type of scam. But she showed me her Instagram, and she had 100,000 followers. I'm not showing it to y'all because y'all f the last girl that I met. At first, I told her no because I don't have any pool clothes. But she took me back to my room, which wasn't far. It was like 15 minutes away. And I went to change right quick. And she really had a live photo shoot. She was not playing around. Like, this was a real thing. Damn. There was all types of people there. I was networking. <laughs> and a couple of people actually said that they see my series. And they said they love it. So thank you to y'all. So, yeah, I was a little lit. I had the munchies. And there was hella food there. It went on until 2 a.m. And eventually, everybody started fading away. Everybody left. And it was just me alone at her house. So she asked me if I wanted to have a good time. And me being my weak-minded self, of course I say yes. And then the conversation started to get a little weird, a little deeper, and she asked if I had any kicks. I said, not that I know of. She said she had a special surprise for me, so she took me to this place, and she said, pick whichever one I want. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I was looking for like 10 minutes, and I seen a little schoolgirl outfit with a skirt. So I grabbed that and I said, here, this is the one. But then the weirdest thing happened right when it was about to get good, bro. I kid you not, I could not get up. I don't know what was wrong with me. This never happened to me ever. I never had this problem. I've always been young and full of testosterone. I don't know if it was the role play. I don't know if it's because I got burnt. I don't know, but it was just so frustrating and embarrassing. I ended up just going home and I sent her this message. She said, don't feel stressed about it. I hope to see you soon. I don't know, man. I understand every star player has a bad game, but this was not good for me at all. This really messed with my confidence and my mental. But let me know where I should go next after I'm done with Japan. And let me know if I should go live or make YouTube or a Twitch or anything like that. I'll read every single comment. Stay tuned. Bro, what is happening? <laughs> it's just getting crazier and crazier by the day. How does this man have so much going on each day that he's out there in Japan? It be like that. He black. God, stay and your butt inside one day. Man. No. I've been in Japan for 10 days. I caught two STDs, chlamydia and gonorrhea. I have it. This fool the can't even gonorrhea. say the STD, right? The fuck it's, is gonorrhea? It's gonorrhea. What did you say? Gonorrhea. 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 Chlamydia and gonorrhea. 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 This fool said gonorrhea. Why is he over here doing the Keith Lee impersonation about his his little burning situation? Chlamydia and gonorrhea. I have it. Let's talk about it and let's rate it one through 10. Starting off with side effects and symptoms. I have lower abdomen pain, which varies on and off. And it feels like I have to pee nonstop when nothing comes out. And when I do pee, it burns like lava. And I also have flu-like symptoms such as headaches, sore throats, and dizziness. The pain is pretty bad, but I- Um, I look, pray to God I'll never get none of that. That, that sounds I've all I've never unpleasant. had gotten before. Still function. So I'll rate it I've never had a reader, guys. 10. Let's break down the physical aesthetics. I have redness, soreness, and inflammation. And I've been waking up with a lot of discharge. It's very uncomfortable. It does not look pleasant at all. Yeah, 10 out of 10. That. Let's talk about the only good thing that came from it, which is the exposure. 10 out of 10? What you mean, 10 out of 10? As far as it sucks. That's not good. 10 out of 10. Let's talk about the only good thing that came from it, which is the exposure. It's been putting a lot of people on notice, making them do better and it hit everywhere. Even hit black Twitter, and my whole entire family has seen me in this terrible state. I've been getting made fun of a lot all across the internet, but you know what they say, all exposure is good exposure, so seven out of 10. All around, I would rate this experience a five out of 10. I hope it doesn't happen to me again, but it was a great learning experience. Now, nah, but all jokes aside, I didn't do anything for day 10. I'm not feeling too good, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but I did go and get my antibiotics, which is a good thing. Tell me why I'm just not finding out that Japan is paying people $75,000 yearly just to have a kid and live there. This is my last chance. I'm crashing out. I'm calling on everybody. If you're a girl in Japan and you want to have a kid with me so we can have a good life, let's do it. Everything is for educational purposes, TikTok. I don't know what's next for me, y'all, but stay tuned. This boy's still trying to get somebody pregnant, 19 years old. Boy, if you don't take your butt back home, this better be it. All right, y'all. I think this is the last day in Japan. Day 11 in Japan. First of all, I went downstairs to get some towels and she said that I had a few noise complaints so I should keep it down. 
so I just switched hotels, and plus the new one is cheaper anyways. I've been in the house for too long, so you already know I had to get outside today. It was a very nice day, so I thought I could walk around with my shirt off. I didn't know that that was haram in Japan. I tried to sneak in a quick picture for y'all, but as soon as I got in the store, I put my shirt on, but some law enforcement approached me, and I couldn't really understand what he was saying, but he just basically gave me a warning, I think. Shortly after that, I met this foreigner on the streets, and we went to get something to eat. I'm not showing you guys their face anymore because you guys lost that privilege. After yeah. that, we rode the Mario Kart go-karts in Tokyo. We were chilling in her car for a while, and she said that she wouldn't have some fun. So she said, let's go back to my hotel room. But I already had some noise complaints from the last one, so I didn't want to risk it. So I said, how about we go back to your dorm because she went to school here. She said that she had roommates there, so she said, let's just do it right here. I did tell her I was burnt, but she said, it's okay, just wear a helmet. I said, are you sure? She said, yes, trust me. Check out this post-game interview. This is the most I could get. All right, y'all. So I was about to hop in my back, but I came hella fast. Man. What? How do you feel about that? About me not, not being able to keep up? What? Answer to the people. To the people? Yeah. I'm a little disappointed. A little disappointed? <sighs> So, yeah, as you can see, I suffered from inactivity, but I was just happy to be on the court again. A lot of you guys were comparing me to Derrick Rose, but that is not true. I'm more like Kevin Durant after he caught that injury. Now I'm about to straight dominate. Also, why are you guys sending stuff like this to my inbox? Like, I appreciate the love, I guess, but I don't need you guys stressing out. I'm not good, but I'm good, bro. Like, it's my fault. Just let me suffer it by myself. I don't need you guys hopping in my business. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today. You know, I'm just happy. It feels good to be um, back on the court. I don't know what's next, but stay tuned. Back on the court. Boy, you need to go somewhere and heal. <laughs> you nasty. I caught gonorrhea and um, chlamydia when Ooh, I was in Tokyo. Still can't say it right. Here in Tokyo, so I'm going to do a little quick Q&A for y'all since y'all keep asking me questions. So starting off with the first question, I'm just going to freestyle in my head is... Do Japanese girls shave? From my experience, no, they don't. Every time it's been a jungle for me, but I like it. I'm a natural monkey. I like to climb in the jungle. So if you don't like it, stay home. Next question is, are Japanese people racist? Well, guess we're not going to Japan anymore, guys. Make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. Twism.